good afternoon Betsy, it is Wednesday the 14th of April. Thank you for your video yesterday, that's such helpful feedback and it was very fun to see you react to that. I really enjoyed the realisation that storms cause flooding, but then I realised that I'd never really connected that storms did stuff before like, studying them, so I, I guess that that does make sense actually. The storms that I study are called mesoscale convective systems and the general requirement them for them to be called that is that they have to have a certain coldness at the top of their cloud. So their cloud top temperature has to be below a certain value for a certain size. Um, and for the like main value that they use, you have to be, it has to have an area of 100,000 100, square kilometers, I think. Let me check that. I've made a startling discovery <laughs> since yesterday. The area of Wales is about 20,000 square kilometres. The minimum area of a cloud top of a mesoscale convective complex is 50,000 kilometres squared. It's not half Wales, that's two and a half Waleses. That's a big storm. Yeah, storms are big. Um, I got interrupted filming that last bit of the video. It's now several hours later. Fun. How was I? Yeah, storms. I think the general consensus is that they do tend to be stronger over water. They're also less predictable over water, I think, is a thing. I don't actually know what the worst ever thunderstorm was, um, or even the biggest ever thunderstorm, because I think... I guess technically hurricanes are kind of a subset of rotating storms, so those are quite big. I think the most electrified thunderstorm was like a billion volts or something. Um, I do know, however, the coldest storm ever recorded, because that was found um, a couple of weeks ago by my old supervisor, so fun. Yeah, I think they recorded a 2018 storm with like the lowest ever cloud top temperature that people had seen and that's usually used as an indicator of severity of storms. Fun facts. Anyway, it's late. I don't have much else to say. Um, thoughts. Anyway, it's late. It's been one of those days where I've tried to do things and none of them have quite happened how I wanted them to happen. but. Or at the end of the day, tomorrow is a new day, and everything will be fine. Okay, I will hear from you tomorrow, and I'll speak to you on Friday. Goodbye.